is high, Nid is far, Nid is so f***ing expensive here. Opening day at the new Yankee Stadium. A beautiful day in the Bronx that saw the pinstriped faithful line up by the thousands to empty their wallets and watch their team, much like their octogenarian owner, crap all over themselves. Upon entry, the concourse to this $1.5 billion cathedral creates a stunning impression that is ruined immediately by Yankee fans. This ultra-modern stadium offers everything a die-hard fan struggling through a recession could want. $15 programs, $9 cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon, $12 turkey sandwiches. Sure, I enjoy baseball, but if I'm paying $2,500 a ticket, I demand the opportunity to buy a $7 tomato from a farmer's market and watch gentlemen cut dry-aged meat behind glass. Because after all, this is baseball, right? The Yankees have never been shy about celebrating their grand tradition, and opening day was no exception. All your favorite living legends were there. Yogi Berra, Bucky Dent, Goose Gossage, and of course, the most revered living Yankee legend of them all, Jeff Nelson. Jeff Nelson. Jeff Nelson. With the anthem song and the first pitch pitched, it was time for some snacks and a second mortgage. Mmm, you can almost taste the entitlement. Of course, no trip to a 21st century modern stadium is complete without a visit to the exclusive in-stadium sports bar and the police escorted ejection of a fan who just drank too much fun and whiskey. Good times. The game itself, it was a pretty entertaining pitcher's duel until the seventh inning when Yankees reliever Damaso Marte came on to do his best Carl Pavano impersonation, allowing the Indians to score nine times. Nine times. Now, for those of you who followed our inaugural Twitter cast from the game, we asked during the seventh inning stretch what you thought the next day's headline would be, with the top three submissions winning a prize. And they are Spumoni Nick, who wrote, final score, America won, Yankees nothing. Baby McQueen, who wrote, great, Another reason for George Steinbrenner to cry. And Etta Rue, who wrote, My team spent $1.5 billion, and all I got was this lousy defeat. For your contributions, we'd like to give each of you the finger. A $10 foam finger we bought for you outside the stadium. Hey, you guys like impressions? Here's my impression of the Yankees' opening day performance. <laughs> Remember, for the headlines and heckles that fill in the gaps, visit us on Twitter at twitter.com slash the BS show. If anyone needs me, I'll be at the Whitey Ford Memorial Sushi Bar. Until next time, I'm Nick Stevens, that was Yankee Stadium, and this is your closer.